Now I gotta put it all back together, defeated. Defeated once again by my Prius. Damn you, Toyota. This video was sponsored by JDM A-Star. Well, hello. So today, we're gonna to talk about another mod in my Prius, and that is the directional signals. Now, those are regular, standard incandescent bulbs, whereas I've got these nice LED brake lights, and uh, I just don't like them, and I wanna see what it's like to change them up to LEDs. Now, every car is a little bit different. This one is a 7440, which is kind of a plug-in. And uh, these things have 21 LEDs on them, and they're all amber. So they should replace these exactly. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, every car is going to be a little bit different in the way that you replace the bulbs. Mine, I get at from a little panel inside here. And it's real easy to just stick my head in and figure out which one is the right one. Anyway, I find it easiest to take the bulb out. This one just, let's see, not hot, so that's good. Pop in the new one. Now before I put it back, I'm gonna try it. Okay, I turned on the four ways. Now, you got a 50-50 shot of getting this right because they're polarized, and if you turn it around, they won't work. I take that back. <laughs> you could tell I didn't practice this, right? Anyway, <laughs> typically they're polarized. One side is positive, one side is negative. But I guess these are good enough that it doesn't matter. So you can see they work great. Now let me see about the turn signal. Okay, this is good. This is a condition called hyper flashing. Now this happens because well, it's a long story, and I won't bore you with the details, but the LEDs use less current than regular bulbs, and it's the current that actually causes the flasher to move. Now, let me turn those off. Now, there are two ways to resolve hyperflashing. One way, which is very common, is they use these really big, these are 50 watt, 6 ohm resistors. They're inline resistors. What they basically do is burn current they make these LED bulbs use as much current as these bulbs do. Now, I don't know about you. For you guys with gas guzzlers, you probably don't care about saving energy. But this is a Prius, and electricity is valuable to us. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up, but then there's an alternative, which is to use a different flasher that's made for LEDs, and this should solve the problem instead of having to use the resistors. But let's try both. By the way, I only have the back bulb changed. The front bulb is still the original. So if I had changed the front to be the LED as well, it would be blinking even faster. So anyway, let's do this. Plug that in and plug this in. And you can see it's normal. The trouble is these things get really hot not hot yet, but it will be. It'll get as hot as this bulb does because it's actually burning as much current as the bulb is. All right, I'm a big guy and I despise getting under the dashboard. But I'm looking for something with this connector on it. I'm ready. All right, let's see here. Oh my god. If I don't get out of here, I had a good life. Now, it should be somewhere that I can hear it click. Right? It should be. This is not meant for big guys. Okay, so, um, resistors are definitely easier. Definitely easier on a small car. But I'm not giving up yet. Because it's just what I do. Because I want you to know how hard this is. <laughs>
JDM A-Star is a global provider for automotive LED lighting. They carry the most up-to-date, cutting-edge replacement LED bulbs at competitive prices and provide the best-in-class customer service. Their website is the easiest way to find replacement bulbs for your car. Just enter your car's info and click Find Bulbs. You can buy them right here or from Amazon.com. Your choice. So whether you've got a burned-out bulb that needs to be replaced or just want to do a slick mod on your car, click the link in the video description and check them out. One hour later. I don't give up easily. Let it be known. Chris Hyder does not give up easily. But he does give up, just not easily. Now I can feel and I can see through a tiny little spot here a little connector that is plugged into the damn thing. Now people have said you don't remove the old relay, you just leave it there. It's it's too hard to get out. And I'm inclined to agree. I just gotta get to it. Just gotta get to it. Oh I feel like ripping the damn thing off. Now's not the time to lose my cool. I can get my screwdriver under one tab, but there's a tab on the other side too. Not worth it. I can't get my other arm. I'm like a one-armed man. I can't do it. One eternity later. All right, Chris Hyder does not give up easily, but he does give up when it makes sense. I've spent about an hour trying to get the connector off the old relay so that I could put this one on and it's just it's just not worth it not worth it so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and waste the energy with the resistors I don't want to do it but I think I have to otherwise I might wind up in the hospital Okay, here I am back at the back of the car, defeated. Gonna put in the resistors and bite the bullet. I'm not happy about it, but the good news is there is plenty of room. There's plenty of room in this space here. And the only problem is these things are giving me grief fitting in there oh for the love of Pete they're a bit of a different shape well that sucks the big one this is a standard shape for a what is it a 7440 bulb that's what this is this is a Toyota shape for a 7440 and this does not fit in that hole ay, ay, ay. day two okay so not all bad news I got a hold of some calipers and I found out that the ring on the outside of this socket is 30 millimeter whereas a standard one like on these resistors this is 32 millimeter, so this is not going to fit. And even if I shave some down to make it fit, it's not going to work because this has a triangular cam on it that fits in that light. And it also has these two tabs on the side that cause it to click and stay in place. This doesn't have that. So these are not going to work on the rear of my car. But I have some good news. Look, believe it or not, they have different sockets in the front. These are the original standard sockets. Leave it to Toyota, they put different ones in the back. But the resistors worked in the front, so I put one in, and it's awesome. Here, you gotta see this. Look at how bright that is, right? Now, wait, wait, wait. That's the original. 
That's the new one. It's unbelievable, the difference. And it goes on and off instantly, as opposed to the other one, which has a fraction of a second where it's going up and coming down because it gets hotter. And yeah, well, you know how bulbs work. Anyway, I was so thrilled that they worked in the front. All right, so more good news. Not only do they work in the front, they look awesome, but in the back, I've talked to JDM A-Star, and they're going to find these Toyota sockets, and they're going to make me a set of resistors that work with these sockets. So if you have any kind of a situation like this and something standard doesn't work, it's okay. Just give them a call and see what they can do for you. You never know. You might get a happy ending too. <laughs> All right. Hey, be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks so much. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Grrrr, <laughs>